This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar demonstrating cameras, sets, and drop zones in Apple Motion 5.5. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you how to use multiple cameras to shoot a single scene in motion. First thing I want to do is I'm going to take a camera and go to the top because that shows me what I'm doing and we'll add a sweep. And we'll start at zero and we'll have the camera sweep that way. In fact, we'll start at 10 and have it sweep to 45. And I want to have it start and right about there. Okay, so as we watch this, cool. Turn on our background, make it nice. Except now it'd be fun if I could have a second camera give me a tight pan across the letter. So let's go add another camera. And I want to have this camera start here. Turn this camera off for a moment. And with this camera, I want to dolly forward. Right there. And move to the left. Right there. OK, I want to have it start there. And then I want to have it go there and pan across the letters right about there. We'll add a third camera that starts right here and we'll have it do a wide shot so we'll pull it back in the Z space. Z space is to or from the camera. X is, is left and right. Z is to and from the camera. There we go. And we'll have it do a dolly back. We watch this. Turn on this camera. And deselect stuff. Ta-da! Is that not cool? Camera one, camera two, and camera three. There's no limit to the number of cameras that you add, nor the angles that you use them with, and I'm picking something simple to be able to illustrate this. But we could have complex moves on each of the cameras. The one thing that we can't do with cameras in motion is we can't dissolve between cameras. We can only cut. If you need to do dissolve, you'd need to build individual segments in motion, send them over to Final Cut and have Final Cut do the dissolve. Is that not cool? This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar demonstrating cameras, sets, and drop zones in Apple Motion. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 307. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.